Nature is continually trying to change everything. As human beings, we always want this permanence in our lives. Permanence or consistency is almost impossible in the world we live in. Every microorganism, every big and small thing is trying to change in this world. One thing about being in agriculture is it teaches you that nothing stays the same. You really understand that. I can remember riding around on the tractor with my dad when I was really, really young. And he'd put us on the seat with him and we'd ride all day. When we got tired, he'd let us go off into the side of the field over there and take a nap and he'd keep on farming back and forth. When we woke up, he'd pick us up and away we'd go again. I think because my dad and mom both grew up on farms that they were committed to being somehow involved in agriculture throughout their whole life. Whatever they lacked in terms of education and expertise, they made up with hard work. We started out with a farm of about a couple hundred acres, and throughout the course of the next 20 or 30 years in my dad's career, he continued to add on and save money and take chances. My dad said, Dad, do you want to be a partner in a bigger operation down around Three Forks? I said, sure, I was in high school then. So in 78, we moved to Three Forks on this dry land farm here and started farming. It was kind of a tough go. I mean, wheat was $3.50 a bushel, and we raised 20, 25, 30 bushel crops. When Hope and I got married, we actually went to Hawaii on a little vacation. We hadn't been anywhere, and we ended up in Hawaii, and we were on the island of Maui, and we went to this pineapple plantation. We toured the pineapple fields, and then we came down to the processing facility, and you could see how they were processing all the uh, pineapples. And then out front, they had a little store. They called that place Pineapple Hawaii. I looked at Hope, and I said, you know what? We could do this with wheat, and we could call it Wheat Montana. I shared that dream with Hope and we came back to Montana and shared our dream with my mom and dad. They thought it was a good idea and so we started working on the dream together. With the support of my folks, we started the Wheat Montana Bakery and in 1990, it started to take off down in Bozeman and by 93, we'd moved it out to Three Forks. And as we brought more people into the company, the dream continued to evolve and continued to come true. My best day is when I get up early in the morning and grab a cup of coffee and come up and drive around the farm and see crops growing. There was a time when the farm supported the bakery and all the other things that we were doing because it just wasn't big enough to support itself. Then go back down to the bakery walk through the flour mill and see that there's flour being produced and packaged and being shipped all over the country. Then there's been times when the bakery and the flour mill and all the other things that we do there have supported the farm. It's amazing to me how well they've worked together over time so that ultimately both could be successful. through the flour mill and up into the bakery where those loaves are coming out of those ovens. It smells like heaven. Then walk out into the deli and actually see people enjoying a sandwich that's made on that bread. It's something that a lot of farmers don't get to do and see. I don't think we could do the same thing in another state and have as much impact as we done in Montana and you know I think that Montanans want to see us be successful over the long term. Montana means a lot to me and it means a lot to the other million people that share this 
state as their home. Today we have 185 people that we're dreaming with. We have hundreds of thousands of customers that are dreaming with us as well. Well, my dad always thought that you should take what you've got and make it better. And you know, I pray to God every day when I wake up that whatever I do might make the world a better place. And if it's just making the soil better or the farm better here, I guess we're fulfilling that objective. We expect to continue this legacy of growing grain on this operation or this farm for a long, long time. Now, where it goes after we're gone, I guess we don't know. Our children aren't that involved in the agricultural part of this operation. Although when my dad was alive, our kids came up and rode in the combine and rode in the tractor with him, and those are memories that they can never take away. But it looks like our daughters are more interested in other things. And so we're gonna provide them with whatever opportunities that they want. I'm gonna keep on farming until I can't. We're gonna have this farm far out into the future as long as I'm alive. One thing about being in agriculture is it teaches you that nothing stays the same. In business, in life, in our personal relationships, in all the things that we aspire toward, it's always changing. Growing wheat and running a successful company are a lot alike. Because if you take one kernel of wheat and you give it all the things that it wants, water, soil, nutrition, sunlight, heat, it'll produce up to 90 kernels of grain. One kernel can produce up to 90 kernels of grain. I mean, it's, it's an amazing proliferation. Businesses are like that. You take something small and a good idea, and if you give that idea all the things that it needs, the marketing, the personnel, the resources, place to manufacture, place to distribute, have conversations with your customers, continue to evolve and continue to give the business everything that it needs, it'll far outstrip your expectations. Wheat Montana's been like that for us and our family, and we're excited about the future.